at one time, this is what Las Vegas looked like. They came across the desert and found this green oasis and trees and, and water that it just looked like water would flow forever from these springs and it's deceptive. So. I do think that landscape speaks to people. We all have a place on this earth and I don't know if it's mineral or chemical, but there is a place where you know you belong. We're in Death Valley, California, Nevada. Final stretch. Last desert. Seven Number seven. Seven. Woo. seven. At Ash Meadows, we are restoring the uh, habitat for the native endemic species that are found here and nowhere else in the world. The story of the Devil's Hole pupfish uh, goes back to the late 1950s when the Park Service established the Devil's Hole as a national park and saw that with uh, increased pumping, the water level was going down to the detriment of that fish. And so that is like a litmus test. If water levels drop here, water levels drop pretty much in the entire aquifer, that could show that, hey, we're using too much water for this system. It was kind of a landmark ruling by the Supreme Court to protect an, an endangered species over human wants. A significant part of the food bowl that is created in the United States is actually created out of desert environment. Aquifers are being used to water plantations of crops extending right across these sandy plains. When it's being used too fast, nature can't replenish it fast enough. We are biological. We should be able to use some water. We can do that possibly without harming the earth or other species, but we have to be mindful of how we go about doing that. We all think as individuals we can't possibly make a difference. The reality is that every one of us can make a difference. Even through small things we do that may seem inconsequential at the time, you can create a massive change. For me, a big part about being here is to say, yes, the economy is important. Yes, agriculture and food production and supporting businesses is important but we need to do it in a way that's sustainable. As we seek to create our own environments and to find our own comfort, we forget that it's always at the cost of something else. I think most people would change their habits if they knew the sort of cost that, that the things that we demand have. This has got enough gas in the tank still after 1,685 kilometers to run the last three. Should be running the last three. For a couple of minutes to process the whole thing on our own here. And we're, we're running. You gotta run, you gotta finish as you started, come on.
I've changed. I'm not going to return to civilization accepting that a small amount of change is okay. I think that's going to be my biggest challenge and that's probably going to be harder than running 40 marathons across seven deserts and seven continents in seven weeks. When I see change in behaviour, when I see mass changing corporate behaviour that we've affected as a global community, then I'll celebrate. But until then, this is just a step in the journey. Worldwide, that's important to connect habitat and to protect these natural places. They are our lungs, they are our bloodstream, they will provide life to us and if we destroy them, we destroy ourselves.